you know what time it is? It's Potter Clock. Hello, welcome. We're a little bit late, but you know, it is. Uh, it, oh, get that off the screen. I'm so zoomed in. Let me just. I can never get this right. Uh, but hello, I'm really unfocused now. <laughs> it's really warm in here as well. Um, there's a real echo, or not an echo, but a bit of a boom going on at the moment. Nice trim. Thank you very much. It's I've, I've just got out of the shower, hence me being a bit late as well. I was making a cup of tea, making a nice cup of tea, nice brew, um, up the potch o'clock and all that. Um, it is, of course... Uh, FA Cup. It seems like cup games are just here, there, they're everywhere at the moment. We can't seem to get enough of them. Um, obviously, we saw Manchester City dismantle uh, Newcastle uh, yesterday. So, I mean, it's either them or Coventry, or it is Liverpool or Manchester United in the next um, in the next round in the semi-finals. Uh, so, you know, it's. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm I'm not I'm not even hopeful that I mean I'm hopeful that we can make it to Wembley because we're obviously playing Leicester today and it would be it would be it would be unfortunate if we if we didn't get through them but at the same time I just I just cannot fathom us dealing well um, in the FA Cup semi or FA Cup final, should we get there, to be completely honest. If you're not saying for one second that I'd be happy with us losing today, but, um, you know, City, unless we get Coventry somehow, uh, I, think it's, I think it's fairly unlikely that we're going to be making it to the final. Uh, and even if we make it to the final, whoever we face... <laughs> Especially if it's fucking Liverpool. I swear to Jesus. I'm so over. I'm so over playing Liverpool at Wembley at this point. I really am. I really, really am. Um, and so, you know, it, 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 is, it is what it is. The, 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 the bad form has to come to an end at some point at Wembley. That's, the, that's just the simple fact of the matter. Um, in terms of head-to-head, -head, I don't think we played... Um, Leicester, well, no, we have. We played them last season because obviously they got relegated. Um, we beat them home and away, which isn't, a, you know, something that we can say for every single team in the in the last couple of seasons, especially last season. Uh, beating teams home and away was not something that we were all too familiar with. They are top of the league in the, um, in the championship. How many games do they play? Is it 42? Is it 42? Can someone confirm championship? I think it's 42, isn't it? Uh, 46. It is 46. 23 teams. Um, Joe, how's it going? Uh, so they are top by uh, at least a point off of second place Ipswich Town. Um, they are three points off of Leeds, who are in third place. Uh, it, it's it's tight. It's tight at the top. It is tight at the top in the championship. Um, so... I mean, a semi-final place for them, you would imagine, you would imagine that they would look at this FA Cup fixture as, I mean, a, a lot of people might look at it from a perspective of they've got, they've got a lot of things to, well, I say a lot of things. They've got the, 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 the fact of promote, getting promoted, guaranteeing promotion um, is obviously, n you know, number one, um, in, in terms of their, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Priorities. It's the number one priority is getting promoted. And, and all things considered, it looks like it's, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. So then an FA Cup match with a, a guaranteed spot in, you know, at Wembley for a team that is most likely going to get promoted... Um, you, you, but the point I'm trying to make is that surely they would look at this either one of two ways. They're going to look at it and think, I, we need to focus on the championship. Let's, you know, put out a week aside and sack it off. But they're too close now. They're too close to Wembley to, uh, to, to sack it off now. So they're going to have to go for it. They are going to have to go for it, to be, to be completely honest with you. Um, in terms of their starting 11, we'll get to ours in just a second. 
it is another home game for us in a cup game. I don't think we've had an away game in the in, in any cup this season. Am I am I wrong? I could be wrong. I feel like no, we had Blackburn, we had Middlesbrough. We have played Middlesbrough, but that was over two legs. I don't know if that really counts, to be fair. Um League Cup. Yep. So we had Wimbledon. We had Wimbledon, Chelsea, uh, Wimbledon, Brighton, Blackburn, Newcastle, Middlesbrough, and Liverpool. We were the home side in every single game, apart from the one against Borough, which I don't really count. Uh, FA Cup-wise, we had Villa. We did have Villa, um, of which we won at 3-1, then went on to play against Leeds. But so we've had, we have actually had one away fixture in uh, a cup competition this season. So we've got we've gotten very lucky. We've gotten very lucky. We've scored a lot of goals over the cup cup tournaments. Um, you know, a six one victory here. We had what was it? A three one, a three two, a four nil. You know, started off our our campaign against Preston North End with a four nil victory. So the one that, no, it wasn't a way. It wasn't a way to Wimbledon. We 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 went one nil down against Wimbledon. If you remember, <laughs> it was the game where everyone. Um, what do you call it? Everyone was clamoring to to Facebook. That one person in at Stamford Bridge was showing it on his phone. Um, but nevertheless, they're uh, starting eleven. It's a lot. It's a lot of um, Premier League players. You know, they've got Daka, they've got um, Dewsbury Hall, uh, and Didi Winks, uh, Vestergaard, Doyle. Uh, Chowdhury, uh, to, to name a few. I think Vardy is going to be on the bench. He's not. But you've got Ian Acho, Albrighton, Connor Cody, uh, Ward. There's a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of talent in this side, and it's no wonder that they are um, more than likely going to get promoted at the end of the season, you know? It, 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 this is this is more, I'm not even I'm not I'm not listen I'm not trying to, to to make excuses already however they are virtually a Premier League side so if we lose <laughs> if we were to lose you 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 would have a you would have a case to uh, to argue that they they're technically technically a Premier League level side um, they've just been relegated. They've still managed to keep all of their players except for, for Madison um, and, and Tielemans. But apart from that, hey, I mean, let's be honest, they are pretty much a Premier League side at the end of the day. In terms, in terms of our starting 11, let's take a quick look before I look to uh, turn on the old television. Um, we have got, they lost Harvey Bands. Um, they did. They did indeed. Just to name a few. Uh, Sanchez is back in goal uh, for Chelsea. I, I, had a, I had a bit of a sigh. Not a sigh of relief, but a sigh. As soon as I saw Sanchez, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, but the, but yeah, again, the fact of the matter is that the, you, 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 he's got to get the game time. He has sadly got to get game time. And it seems as though he is our cup, cup player, our cup goalkeeper, you know. Um, so make of that what you will, you know. Uh, the, but the back four remains the same. Uh, Chilwell is back, however. He is on the bench. Uh, but Gusto and Kukurea are on the wing backs with um, De Sassi and Chalaba in the middle. Caicedo and Gallagher are the main men, main men in the middle. Uh, Enzo being rested, um, unless I'm mistaken. Is he out injured as well? What's going on with him? What's going on with, with uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm still making the, I, I'm, I'm back to full fitness though, I must say. I've, 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 lost, I've lost whatever it was that I was fighting for the last fortnight. Um, he's suspended, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, the, the backdrop, the backdrop is more or less finished. I just can't foot, uh, I, I can't find a way to stick grass on the fucking wall. So <laughs> it's looking good though, it's looking good. Uh, but it's not ready by any stretch of the imagination. It might still be a couple of weeks yet. Um, but again, back to the team. Palmer in the middle with Sterling and Mudrick on the wings. Jackson up top for the Blues today. Um, and I stress, what are 
our top scorers. We've got to have some top scorers in this, surely. Um, what do you call it? We don't seem to have anyone in the top 10. No one. How does that work? How does that work? That we don't have anyone in the, in the top scorers? Surely. Top assists? Raheem Sterling. <laughs> oh, come on. Raheem Sterling with two assists. Jesus. Jesus. Um, but there we go. Petrovic, Badi Ashil, big bad Benoit Badi Ashil is on the bench once again with Thiago Silva, Achi and Pong, Chilwell, Harrison, Chukameka, Mad Madueke, and uh, Washington as well. We're playing a 4 2 3 1 by all accounts. It seems to be um, the way things are going at the moment. Obviously, Enzo has been suspended as we've established. Uh, but there we go. There is your starting 11 for today's game. With that said, I should probably dust off the old controller and uh, hope for the best. You're going to turn on, you little bastard. Come on. There we go. He's a good boy. Um, Chelsea FC, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Starting Sanchez is a setup, he says, or they say. Um, it, it, it's not. It's not. It's not something that necessarily fills me with confidence um, when, you know, in an otherwise, in a game that would have otherwise been straight, how do I say straightforward, but it's not, it's, it's like I've, I've, I was, I was joking, but I wasn't at the same time. Like it is partially uh, a case of Leicester are a proven Premier League side. They won the Premier League a couple of years ago, for Christ's sake. Like, it's no, it's no, um, it's no real big excuse. Like, a lot of the players they've got, I say, well, I don't know. They haven't got many players. I don't think they've got any players apart from Vardy that, that was there. Do they, uh, apart from Vardy, is anyone still there that, that won the league with them? I don't think they were. Um, but regardless, they are, they have won it in the last seven years. And, uh, you know, if we are looking to be uh, the, another case of the blue billion pound bottle jobs today, as uh, Jamie Todd has said, I feel like this would be a bit harsh. But at the same time, we have got a fairly strong, if not our strongest possible side out of players available, you know. Um, I don't, I don't actually think that we have much in the way of excuses if we lose here today. Are the players feeling a little bit, you know, sheepish or, or, um, are the nerves getting to them that they're going to become another, another statistic once again, in terms of, uh, our record at Wembley, of course, a win here today would take us to Wembley and, um, a loss, a loss there would just be, it would be catastrophic, would it not? It would be so bad. I think our last win at Wembley, was it not against Crystal Palace? Was it not against Crystal Palace? It would have been two years ago at Christ, against Crystal Palace to get to the FA Cup final. Uh, Mark Albrighton, yeah, he would have been there, yeah. Um, so Crystal Palace, yeah, it's... Pfft. It's been a while. <laughs> It's been a while, um, to say the least. Uh, when you've got a goalkeeper as good as Petrovic, why play Sanchez that's had uh, that has not had game time? Makes no sense, and this game is so important to us. It is. It is a very, very important game. I think I would be more... I'm obviously... I am excited. I am excited for the game. I think I'm... I'm, I'm so... Uh, what's it called? Sub subconsciously, I'm nervous. I don't think I've realised how nervous I am for this game, or or how much this game, you know, uh, the, my my happiness <laughs> revolves around uh, the, the 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 result of this game. Do you get what I'm saying? 
It's because we've lost at Wembley against Liverpool so recently that the idea of going to another final in a it, 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 or Wembley in general in another cup so soon is just it's really not something I'm too excited about. I don't know. Obviously, I want to go. Uh, or I, I want us to go to 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 Wembley again and try and rectify our our, our wrongdoings and our our failures and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it is. It's not something I'm excited about. Is is Chelsea going to Wembley per se? But we have to keep going there to try and beat this stupid record that we've somehow um, made for ourselves. We're all excited, but if we lose because this experiment, I'll be fuming. I mean, you've got to... The thing is with Sanchez, he came in to be potentially... I mean, he, he wasn't guaranteed. Angeline, hello. Sorry, I, I forgot to say hello. Um, it is... Uh, what was I saying? With Sanchez... Sanchez, it's one of those situations where he wasn't he wasn't bought to be guaranteed to be a first team goalkeeper. Like he was not meant to be long term first a first team goalkeeper. Do you know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, he found himself in a situation where Kepa left. Petrovic was totally unproven in the fact that he had never played in a competitive game, and Sanchez got injured. Petrovic came in. Petrovic is just leaps and bounds better than Sanchez, at least from the games that we've seen him play. And so it's no surprise that us, the Chelsea fans, are um, more... Why is the bridge so empty? Why is Stamford Bridge so empty with five minutes to go? <laughs> It is, it's still starting at 12.45, no? They're all still at the pub. Where is this? 12.45. This game starts in six minutes and there is no one, <laughs> no one is in their seat. Oh, no. Unless that was old footage that they were just showing there because they're now looking at uh, Gary Lineker, um, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, and um, I forget his name, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, what's his name? What's his fucking name? It's so confusing. Dion Dublin. I got it. All right, he's he's on uh, Homes Under the Hammer, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, was, I don't know why they're using old footage there. Uh, did you see what happened with the women's game against Arsenal the other day? With the with the socks. Is that what you mean? The 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 Arsenal team. Of the <laughs> I work from home predominantly, mate. So mid the midday TV is you know it's it's my forte. It's it's something that I find myself watching more and more. Um, yeah, the the Arsenal women's side had to had to buy Chelsea socks from the mega store to uh, to avoid clashing with uh, the, the the Chelsea. Is it Bargain Hunt? What's the one that what what is Dion Dublin on? Dion Dublin. It is Homes Under the Hammer, yeah. I'm partial to a few bargain hunts here and there, whenever it's on, but it's 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 not it's not, a lot, it's not what it used to be. It's uh it's lost its edge. It's definitely Homes Under the Hammer. Dion Dublin, what a guy. Um, we are five minutes away. Uh, please do smash the like button. If we could get to fifty likes before the uh, the 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 game commences, that would be fantastic. Uh, we'll get a little potcher clock in. Um, a little bit quiet in here. It has been the last couple of streams. I've got to be got to be honest. Uh, but then again, I haven't I haven't been doing videos for like three weeks now. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm back on the grind uh, tomorrow, and um, there'll be some gaming streams. I'm going to start a new Chelsea career mode um, for uh, you know starting next week. Hopefully tomorrow. So if you want to uh, join in with that. 
uh, then please do subscribe to my channel, Chelsea Fans XI. The link for that is in the description uh, down below. Where was the preview? I didn't have enough time, mate. I was putting up the um, the panels. If you could see right now, there, there's literally pan. I could probably show you, to be fair. Look at the state of this. You want to see? There we go. It's not level. It's not central. But you can see, you've got the panels there and the panels there. But for now, the middle bit, ugh, the middle bit's supposed to have grass in the middle, but the grass doesn't want to fucking stick to the wall. So it's uh, it's becoming a bit of a ball ache, to be honest with you. Um, the players are in the, uh, the, the, the tunnel. I should probably... The wall was real. It was real at one point. Uh, but currently, the wall that you see is not real. You get the Chelsea badge as well. They've stopped selling it, for fuck's sake. It's so annoying. Really, really frustrating. The jacket. I'm not a fan of that jacket, to be honest. I mean, it's not bad. It's not one. I've bought a lot of their the, the merchandise this season. Um, that's just not one I would see myself buying. I don't know. I think, especially for streaming-wise, it would be too loud. It looks really crinkly. Some of the ball boys here are very, very old. Or at least one of them was. No Vardy, no party. He's uh, he's injured by the by what I've been told. We've got uh, Jonathan Pierce is commentating today. I've interviewed uh, Jonathan Pierce in case I haven't mentioned that a million times already. But there you go for anyone that's watching on BBC. I did a, a podcast for uh, for for Alex on the byline and interviewed Jonathan Pierce myself uh, about a year ago now. So there's there's my claim to fame. <laughs> it was a good conversation. It started a little bit shaky at the start. I don't think he realized what he was getting himself into. And then I started asking him questions about robot wars and, you know, all this sort of thing. David Beckham soccer, if anyone played David Beckham soccer back in the days of PlayStation 1, he was the commentator on that. Where can I see the interview? I it's it's on the the his Patreon Alex's Patreon the Byline Patreon. It's uh, the link for that is in the description. I think it's like two pounds for a month. You get to listen to everything he's got. He's got interviews with Harry Redknapp, uh, Peter Drury, um, Clive Tildesley. He's, he's had um, Reese James's dad on. He's had uh, Tony Mount on. He's had Trevor Chalabar. He's had a few you know, loads and loads of people on that. It's and, and I, as as the editor of the podcast, I will guarantee it is a good watch. It's a good listen if it's if you know if you want something to listen to when. Um, you uh, you're working or whatever it's it's a good little bit of insight how's he done that i mean he's he is a journalist so <laughs> he has alex has has his connections to say the least so uh pierce in his early career was a fun commentator to listen to but then he went to bbc yeah he he did the game yesterday with coventry and uh wolves um, I thought I thought he did a really good job personally. I don't like the kick. The camera angle is really odd. Hang on, no. Why does Stamford Bridge look so so weird? Does anyone else think that camera angle makes Stamford Bridge look a bit different? It looks really odd. Um, we're on the way, though. It's 
quite a low angle. It looks not. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't like it. And I don't like the kick clash. And I know people will be like, there's not really much of a kick clash, but it's a it's too close. Considering considering Leicester have a golden kit, why aren't they wearing that? It's quite a low angle. They're using a fisheye. Why on earth would they use a fisheye for a football game? Have they changed now? It looks like it's a bit normal now. Uh, uh, Sanchez, got to get used to saying, oh, this kick clash is pissing me off. Do I like the kit for Leicester? It's it's quite nice. The sash thing's a little different. I, I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. Great chance for Leicester early on. Harry Winks opening his body a bit there. Um, didn't quite get the connection that he was hoping for. You could see what he was going for. A bit of a, a an outswinger volley. But he's hit it straight into the floor and out for a goal kick. Um, it's the kind of kick clash that would make you quit a game in FIFA. It, it, it absolutely is, yeah. It's the kind of one that it just gives you a headache because you're really having to... It's not that bad if you really think about it, but at a glance, it's like, what is going on? Why are they... It's, it's too similar from a distance. The light blue looks so smooth on it. All right, Jamie, why are you going to sell support fucking Leicester, mate? Jesus. You love the kit so much. <laughs> Who's the co-commentator? Let me listen. Hang on. Here is Palmer. Takes it to the byline and it's intercepted out for a corner kick. It's is it um down, is it Townsend? Sounds like it could be Townsend. Jackson's at the back post, headed away for a goal kick, uh, a corner ball again. Sorry. Do you know where Kate Middleton is? My God, Americans absolutely um, obsessed with that. Oh, it's flicked all the way through and it's nearly gone all the way in. Cleared away in the end. Great chance there, three and a half minutes played. And yes, Tom, I've, I've, I've spoken about this a few times already. Uh, the kick clash is horrible. I can't stand it. Sanchez. De Sassi with the pass to Malagusto, whose first touch certainly been better in the past. It's uh, gone straight out for a throw in. Just too much on the first touch. Chowdhury looks to find the right man and can't do so. Sterling on the break. His pass, shocking as well. And now Leicester with a great chance here. Kukurea getting stuck in. It's a shit pass there from Conor Gallagher. Really putting us in danger, but gets away with it. Kukurea now, Mudrik. Good to see him getting another start. He loses the ball and it's all descending into may mayhem here as Chelsea give away the free kick.
Leicester looking the more lively out of the two teams, which isn't really too much to uh, to brag about for any team. Chelsea always seem to to start a little bit on the back foot, no matter who they play against this season. Jackson. Do you consider this as another Prem side considering... Well, yeah, again, I was, I was saying that right at the beginning of the stream. They've just been relegated last season, well, for this season. Most of their players are Premier League quality. They're going to get promoted again. It is more or less a Premier League side, let's be completely honest. Will it be deemed as such if we lose? I don't... It, it's obviously not going to be the case, but, you know... Chalaba. Looks for the switch of play. Mudrick can't quite get onto it. Chalaba. Any watch-alongs for England this week? I doubt it. <laughs> Very much doubt it. But I will be streaming this week. I'll be doing a lot... Depends when England are playing, to be fair. When are, when are we playing? Is it Tuesday? Wednesday? Thursday? When are we playing? Got Brazil, haven't we? Gusto, I won't get to that. Goes out for a goal kick. We've got Brazil on Saturday. Um, Belgium on the Tuesday. Yeah. Maybe. The Brazil one's tempting, I will say. Kukureya, under pressure. This 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 kick clash is is getting on my tits. It really is. Can't wait for another ninety minutes of Sterling running straight into defenders. Mudrik, you've 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 hit the nail on the head. I've said I pretty much say that every single game. Let's be honest. Mac, I'm doing good. I'm I'm back to full fitness now. I'm I'm feeling good. The house move is pretty much completed. Uh, in terms of we've moved in completely now. The setup is nearly done. I feel like I'm really low. It doesn't matter what I do. I just eventually just go down like this. And then I'm like here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Played over the top. Jackson could be in here if he if he decided to actually put a foot out there. That would have been great. Free kick given against either Palmer or Caicedo there on Harry Winks. Mudrick would have been away if he could have done anything with the ball though. It's uh, you know his, his, his trim is so dead, isn't it? <laughs> it is very similar, yeah. I just keep lowering down and down. I don't seem to be moving, but you know, I think it's because I just keep like the slouching forward. If I move back a bit, fucking using carpet doesn't help. But then I look how small I become. <laughs> I look tiny. It's a cross in. Back post. The sun is shining at the bridge only for a moment. Certainly isn't here. Pink and purple. De Sassi playing it to Sanchez. Not sure what he's doing. Boots it down the middle. Sterling could be... In with a chance, but certainly doesn't seem it. Yeah, the goalkeeper's kit is not great. I'll buy you a booster seat.
Is it at an angle? I feel like the camera's doing a bit, uh, a bit of the, oh, careful. Nor the hand signal, but I'm saying it's, <laughs> it's just at a bit of an angle. Do you know what I mean? Got to be care careful, careful now, careful. Um, are you at the potch out stage? Yeah, mate. I've been at potch out for a, a, several weeks now, if not months. Personally, not a fan. I don't see any way that this is going to improve past what it currently is. It's just bang average, isn't it? No player seems to excel under Pochettino. The fact that Palmer seems to have plateaued a bit as well is, is a bit worrying. Gallagher, good passing here. No, all that said. Sterling, man, what is that? Oh, my God. Uh, did anyone see that Sterling pass just then? What the fuck was that? A player of his quality, his quality, making a pass like that, fuck off. So bad. He's so shit, man. <laughs> oh, Luke, you're right, mate. I'm glad I've got those beers just in case because I feel like they're going to need it in this game, to say the least. A good chance here for Leicester. I don't want it to be one of those games where a Leicester goal would would um, sort of liven the game up. It seems lively enough. It just seems like we're not taking our chances. That said, Jackson, if he could play the ball in, it's Cook around at the back post, and it's in! It's a lovely, lovely goal. It's so well worked. Jackson, the orchestrator of that goal, to say the least. And Kukurea at the back post to make it 1-0. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Punch O'Clock. It's a brilliant goal. It really is a good goal. Kukurea, right place, right time. Absolutely fantastic run from him. It's Cole Palmer with a brilliant vision to play the ball forward, but it's Jacks. It's all Jackson. 1v1. That's Sterling, mate. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. You don't run full force into the defender. You go alongside them. You draw them away. You create the angle. And Kukure is just there. The pass is magnificent. The finish is great. It's a brilliantly worked goal. It really is. Now, I wouldn't argue necessarily that we deserve to be 1-0 up, but someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. And it just so happens to be Chelsea. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I'm ill, <coughs> I'm Ill again. <coughs> What's happened there? I've got my... Um, I've got my Jakemans, just in case I need it. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, ha happy for Kukurea there. Good to see him. Get on the uh, the score sheet. What's going on now? What's going on? I think Jackson's one of the one of the saving graces in this side. Like I, I'm still yet to really lay into him. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm still yet to really give up. I, I, I'm sure there's clips of me having a right fucking go at him, but I, I look at players like Mudrick. What is that? Did anyone see what Mudrick just did there? Here he is again. He's, uh, he's made up for it with a nice nutmeg here. If we could score, it'd be even better. He's going, he's going, he's going. Oh, it's not a bad pass. It's not a bad pass. You saw the vision. You saw what he was going for there. And Mudrick, he, he, he has his moments. He really does. And it's the same as with Jackson. I think it's the same with everyone, is it not? It's the same with everyone. 
everyone seems to have their moments, but their moments are so few and far between that it almost seems like luck when they pull something off for a change. Do you get what I'm saying? Which is sad. <laughs> it's a real sad, sad situation. Could have put less on it. Well, yeah, could have, could have, could have, should have, would have. Uh, but Jackson, the standout player today so far. Chalaba with a fucking dicey back pass there. Yeah. Oh, it's a terrible pass, but we've managed to keep it in. Cole Palmer, the right place, the right man in the right time. Or the right time in the right place. Or the right, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Cole Palmer. Back to Caicedo. Uh, John with the super chat. Thank you very much. Um, IG Aura, go work at Tesco, bro, mismatch. Yes. Yes. But thank you. <laughs> English learn, you shall. <laughs> I gotta go Tesco, bro. I work there. Yeah, I, I kind of put it two two together, but <laughs> <coughs> fuck you know. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> How do you not proofread a super chat before you send it? It's funny all the same. Sanchez was closed down there. John's been on the old uh, the old booze before his, uh, his shift by the sound of it. Jackson opens it up. It's Sterling with a terrible touch, but Mudrick's there, and it's a save. And it's not a save, actually. It's straight into the legs of Raheem Sterling. Uh, Kukurea picks it up. Jackson deserves to be on the score sheet, to say the least. It's a corner ball. Uh, but John, thank you very much, mate. Sterling getting in the way. I mean, that 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 is most definitely going on target. I feel like that could have easily been a goal. There was definitely a player on the six-yard line to maybe get a foot on it, but Sterling's got to go, man. He's got to go, blood. He's got to go. Gusto, dodgy cross. Managed to get a, a corner ball, though, for his, uh, for his work. You feel so unsure when he's in goal. Uh, 65 likes on the stream. We've hit the 50 mark. Let's try and get to 100 before half time. I've, it's more than doable. It's more than doable. There's 200 of you fuckers in here. As the corner comes in, cleared away and a free kick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hey! Yes! Potch o'clock. It's potch o'clock. It, it's, it's, it's potch o'clock. Jesus. The tea has finished. I might be going on to the beers soon enough, but we are 1-0 up. So I, 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 I don't think it's necessarily time for the beers just yet, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, that looked like it could have been a handball from Sanchez there. Sanchez just does goofy shit, doesn't he? He just does weird shit. Oh, Jackson is here, he's there, he's every fucking where. He's on the right, he's on the left, he's down the middle. He's, <sighs> he's doing it all. He's doing it all. What brand of tea do you drink? Um, PG Tips is my, uh, is my, my tea of choice. I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's the old reliable, do you know? And then Twining, is it Twining's? Twinings do a biscuit tea, which is just, if you like digestive biscuits, right? Which who doesn't? It's all, it's sort of like a mixture between uh, digestives and hobnobs. Um, 
it's that flavor mixed with tea. And I don't know how to describe it because that probably sounds so weird for anyone that hasn't heard of it or hasn't had it, but fucking hell, they're so good. It just tastes like you've dropped a hobnob in your, in your tea and it's, it is unbelievable. It's so good. Uh, m and do a, a, a shortbread tea, which I know you're going to say, ah, what a Tory, what a Tory. You go m and &S. I mean, they have good stuff there. Hobnobs are mid. Fuck off. That's worth a ban, you know. Mr. Diamond, you're on thin ice there, Sonny Jim. Yeah, that, that, is, that is worth a timeout. Luke, put him on a list. Mr. Diamond, you just made the list, my friends. You, you, hobnobs are a, a staple in this, in this country. Without the tea. I, will, I mean, you, who has a hobnob without a cup of tea, though? Pedophiles, that's who. It's a great chance. Men. <laughs> Men and pedophiles, that's who. Custard creams or bourbons. I mean, that is like choosing between... Uh, who's that like choosing between? That's like choosing between John Terry or Frank Lampard. It's impossible to really choose. Like at the end of the day, it's really, really true. It's so difficult to choose between the two. Or what? What's a trickier one? What's a trickier one than Terry and Lampard? I don't think it gets trickier than that. People have their favourite out of Terry and Lampard, but I never knew until recently that penguins—they were just bourbons covered in chocolate. It's come all the way in, and Jesus Christ, Sanchez flying through the air. It's a corner ball. Bourbons are just elite. Custard creams are very much on the same level either way. They're, they're, they're both good in their own regard. And this is the, this is the, the beauty of these, these streams. It's just the, the, the conversations. They always lead to food, don't they? <laughs> Shit! Clean it away, Jesus. That bourbon thing melted my brain when I noticed that. Well, yeah, if you just melt the chocolate off of a penguin bar, it is a bourbon. It is a bourbon. It even says bourbon on it. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe it when I saw it. So I had to try it for my own eyes, you know, I had, to, I had to see it for myself. And lo and behold, I thought it was one of those things where it's a bit of a, um, a trick just to get you to mess up a, a perfectly good penguin. But no, lo and behold, great cross, great chance! Leicester with arguably their best chance of the game so far. Headed wide. It seems as though Sanchez was rooted to the spot. 23 minutes played. It's a fantastic, it's a fantastic chance. Brilliantly cut inside on the edge of the box, crossed in. And I mean, Sanchez, absolutely no man's land there. I, I just don't think he even comes close to saving that if it's on target. Brilliant ball down the right-hand side. It's Malo Gusto. Sterling is in the box as is Makaya Madrick. It's come to Sterling. He's fouled. It's a penalty. Yes! He, he absolutely balls that up there, by the way. Sterling absolutely balls that up monumentally. It's a penalty all day, every day of the week. What's happened? So Sterling goes to shoot. I don't know if he kicks the ball away and Sterling just... No, it's a penalty. He's gone right through the back of the geezer. Jesus. It's a terrible, terrible tackle. I thought Sterling went to kick it. He missed the ball and went flying. How is Sterling taking this? <coughs> Jesus. Why is Sterling taking the penalty?
He needs the confidence. Jonathan Pierce just said that Sterling has said he needs to score to, to, to sort of regain his confidence, find his scoring ability again, which I don't think penalties really do that for a player, but all the same. It's Sterling for two, and it's saved. And a free kick to fucking Leicester. He's got, he's got to go! He has to go! Fuck him off! He is shite! He is so bad! Oh my god! That is a hooner of a penalty! That is so fucking bad! What was that? What the hell was that? He's got to go. He has to go. He absolutely has to go. As a priority, he has got to go. It's, it's as simple as that. Sterling going is more important than, than signing any player. And I know that sounds harsh to some people, but he's fucking awful. He brings nothing other than uh, just constant selfishness He's taken that penalty over our penalty taker in, in, in Cole Palmer. Like, he didn't win the penalty. Like, he won the penalty, but it doesn't matter who was there. They were going to get tackled by that geezer either way. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't do anything outrageously helpful in order to secure the penalty. He was just standing there. He was there by chance, and he just got absolutely clattered into So bad. So, so bad. You just knew as well the confidence, the lack of confidence in his eyes there when he was standing for that penalty. He's enough to drive you to drink. He really is. And there are five beers in that fridge of mine that are just waiting. He's going to get a goal either way now, isn't he? He's going to. He's going to score a hat trick as well. It's Gusto. It's a terrible cross by Gusto. A great run from him all the same again. He's been re making really good runs today. He really has. But some of the some of the crosses just haven't haven't been good. Steve mate, how's it going? What's the weather like? It's another chance for Leicester to make it 1-1. If 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 we, if we if we go in at half time level, he's he's got to be taken off at half time. He's got to go. Imagine us going out now. Well, we've just given them another lifeline. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we've just like Sterling being a pe a taken taking the penalty there has just it, 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 even before he took it, it was it gave them a lifeline. What does he do? Like he gets scored some really good free kicks this season. He's got a, a few assists here and there, but it's all just circumstantial. Like I just don't, apart from the free kicks, I can't really think of anything that he's done too, too mad. Do you know what I mean? De Sassi goes down way too early here. It's a great chance. Kukurea deals with it and puts it out for a corner ball. I can see us bottling this game now, says Gabs. I, I'm not so sure. I don't have that dread in my in my stomach right now. Where You know when something just goes wrong? If it was nil-nil and that was our chance to make it 1-0, I think I would be really fucking annoyed. I mean, I'm annoyed either way, but I think I'd be way more like, oh, we're, this, this game is a loss written all over it. 
I don't see it that, that way now, necessarily. If they equalize before half time, though, I think it's, we're fucked. And this could be the chance. Sanchez is lethal when he comes out to punch. Uh, and not in the way of, that you would think to like actually collect the ball. What I mean by that is he's an absolute fucking spoon. He's just Superman punched someone in the fucking heat. Was it shoulder? Oh! Like that's dangerous. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Sanchez loves flying about, man. He absolutely loves flying about. As a precaution, I think we take Sanchez off just to be safe. Just to be safe. We don't want him getting injured now. Sanchez has tried to make this Superman punch thing his, his like, personality. It's really odd. It's really strange behavior. Yeah, I, I think we bring Petrovic on just as a precaution, you know. Oh, it's just beautiful. Really, really beautiful from uh, from Jackson there to set up the goal. Whereas you could absolutely bet your bottom bippy. Sterling's running straight into him, uh, that, that defender, or he's, he's running it out for a goal kick, one or the other, or he's overhitting the cross, one or the other, or the other. <laughs> There's so many other alternatives for what would have happened if Sterling was on the ball there, and it would have been all the wrong ones. <laughs> what was for lunch? I just got a sandwich from the shop. From a, there's like a local co-op. I got a, a bacon and egg sandwich. It was very, very average. Very average indeed. Also tried that blue Lucas Aid, that new blue Lucas Aid. It's fucking disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And I love Lucasade, but that blue Lucasade is dis just diabolical. It's like one pound fifty, which is uh, pff, outrageous. It tastes like sour apple, like the sour apple candies. Is Madrid? Cole Palmer is in support. It's not the pass to make, mate. He shoots. Gets it again. Saved by the keeper. Kukurea comes fucking hairing in. Kaiseido might go for the shot here. He does, and it's over the bar. Green one's the best. Not sure. What is the green Lucas aid? Green Lucose. I don't, I'm, I'm not a... Oh, that. Well, that's like apple as well. I don't like anything sour apple. I think sour apple is just, just so nasty. A hundred likes on the stream. Thank you very much. We're doing quite well so far in this. We're aiming for at least 200. So uh, let's keep it going. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Sterling runs into a player once again. And it's a pot clock. Two things, well, no. There's four, there's four guarantees in, uh, in life. Death, taxes, it being potch o'clock, because it's always potch o'clock, and also Sterling running into, uh, into players. That and Caicedo getting a yellow card. He's on, he's on the brink. He's on the brink. He's very close now to... Uh, Getting a yellow card. It's got to happen, surely. Apple sours. Sours in general are just disgusting as well. It's like a proper... That's like a teenager drink. I, I'm not... You know. It's, it's like what you get when you first get to go to the pub ever with your mates. 
and you get one one of your mates gets like a tray of of shots and it sours. It's like getting shots of WKD. No, the best uh the best Lucas aid is Caribbean crush without a shadow of a doubt. Lucas aid. Yeah, Caribbean Crush is elite. And then it's the, the, the original and the orange one as well. There's a few others, I think, but the Caribbean Crush is the one I always go for. If you've got a hangover, Jesus. Caribbean Crush is the way to go. Cole Palmer doing everything he can to try and maintain the ball, but he's been dispossessed. My favorite shot, I don't really have a favorite shot, but if I was, it would probably be Sambuca. Tequila as well. I, don't, I, I, I think more so tequila than, because than, it's not, it like, Sambuca is fucking disgusting after a while, but first one, it's always like a little bit, oh, <laughs> it could put some hairs on your chest. Te tequila though, I like it because you get the lime and the salt, but. Whiskey shots, vodka shots, they can fuck off. They're disgusting. Chalaba. Disassi. The best Gatorade is Lucasade. Yeah, Kaiseido, I'm still I'm still unsure on Kaiseido personally. See a lot of prop for him on Twitter and that saying, well, you, do, you don't know a ball if you don't see how good Kaiseido is. <sighs> All I ever see him getting is fucking booked. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's all I ever see from him is him getting in the, in, in the book. That's it. Dodgy tackle there. It's a free kick. Jackson pulled down, and I think he's landed on his boot. What's that? Kaiseido is the king of yellow card, yeah. It's like collectibles for him, isn't it? It really is. It's your landlord. Please stop shaving your gooch in the kitchen sink. You fucking what? It's outrageous. Um, just over five minutes to go. The audio sounds better. For me, it's weird because it's really boomy. Like I can, I, I feel like the missus can definitely hear me in the other room, whereas in the old flat, it was a lot further away. They're bigger rooms, but it's a lot more tight-knit, like more close together, whereas the old flat, it was like fucking so spaced out for no reason. The hallway is fucking huge. The living room was just... It sounds like, oh, what a problem, but it, the living room was too big. Like, it, you just... It, you struggled to put anything in it, and you just ended up putting shit everywhere. That as well, and I'm not right next to the main road anymore, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> Albeit there's no sirens anymore. Leicester with five minutes to uh, get a goal before half time. Mudrick looks to intercept. Chowdhury says, uh uh. Fries, uh, ketchup is on the side for sure. Ketchup on the top is proper paedophile behavior, but, you know, sometimes it's got to be dumb. Sometimes it's got to be dumb. But those times is usually when you're with a, well, I'm not, I don't really associate with those types of people. So, you know, can't say it's happened very often. <laughs> Put myself in a bit of a corner there. Oh, it's a shit throw. 
There's always that one friend, though. There's always that one friend that, that likes to have it all over it, and it, they're, they're always a bit of a weirdo, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that I've, I've got noncy friends, but, you know, it's always one. There's always one. You're like, eh, I, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Putting ketchup on your chips, it's, it's a bit suspect. Can't work out. I think Leicester are trying to just play down the clock here to get to half time. Great ball down the right hand side. Chance for Leicester. Look to cut in sides. There's not really anyone available, but the ball comes in nonetheless. Chowdhury is there. Harry Winks now up against Makaya Mudrik. When is the semi-final draw? I don't. I, it's got to be today, surely. Good chance. Crossed in. Saved by Sanchez. Counter-attack could be on here if we move quick. Been deadly down that right-hand side today. Sterling, oh, for fuck's sake. It's not even Sterling's fault on this occasion, but... It's the run from Sterling wasn't brilliant. Mudrick, nearly in there. Uh, yeah, following the tie between Manchester United and Liverpool, so it'll be after the game. It'll be after the game. Coventry would be ideal. Man City are going to definitely get Coventry, though. It's It's obvious. It is so painfully obvious. Two minutes to go. Again, please do smash that like button as we head into half time. We'll have a little look, look see at the uh, stats at half time. Gallagher fouled. Oh, a goal before half time. Do we want a goal before half time? I need to. Don't want to kill the game off completely, do you know? Is there a second leg in the semis? No, it's it's at Wembley, so it's neutral. Ball play forward, Caicedo, Sterling's in, it's one-on-one, -on -one. how is he going to miss this? He has! <laughs> you shit, mate! You are shite! I, I just, I knew, I knew he would miss it! I knew he would miss it, he's onside, I, I was, I, I, how is he going to miss it? He, 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 the goal is the bigger target than it is to miss, and he fucking finds a way! The absolute melon. Fuck me. He is so shit. Do you know how shit you have to be for you to be one on one and I'm waiting for him to miss and he does. He's down the middle as well. How do you put that wide? You shite! It's time to hang up your boots! Fucking hell! St 
Sterling here. Can he make up for himself? He can. It's 2-0. Come on! He's got the assist. Cole Palmer puts it away. 2-0 on half time. It, it slightly makes up for the, the absolute howler of a game Sterling's having. It's 2-0. Three minutes of additional time to play, but Cole Palmer on the score sheet, nevertheless. Sterling can't believe how badly he's playing. He's, sh he's shaking his head. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's a really good run from him. It's a really good run from Sterling. It's a great cross and, and an even better finish from Cole Palmer. Um... I can only assume that the, the, the miss and the penalty have just... It's really gotten to him to the point where he's actually had a really good run there. <laughs> it's a really good run and a really good pass. It's Chelsea 2, Leicester 0 heading into half time. And Cole Palmer on the score sheet once again. Just me, or was that an anticlimactic goal? I, I mean, uh, <laughs> sort of came out of nowhere as well, didn't it? <laughs> <coughs> Could be on for three here. Sterling dispossessed. Imagine my shock. It's never a free kick. Play continues. Oh, come on. It's Gallagher. He goes for the shot. He slips. And it's wide. Who the fuck compared Sterling to Willian? It's not even really close, is it? At least for Chelsea, anyway. Gallagher, weird little pass from him. He gives the ball away. Trying to do a back heel on the edge of the D, for fuck's sake. It is. Alex just tweeted something, and it's so true, isn't it? It's so true. I've seen the script for today. Raheem Sterling <clears throat> is going to frustrate all of us beyond belief. We're going to be yelling loudly for him to never play again, and then he's going to randomly go, go and get a, an important goal or assist or two to, to, to confuse everyone. He does it every game. He has howler after howler after howler, but he manages to scrape a, 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 an assist or a free kick or a goal or, or whatever, and it makes it hard or harder to to really criticize and and say anything because well i mean he's getting numbers he's getting his ga in he's shite i don't care i don't care that he's you know feel sorry for him and all this bollocks if you want but the career the geezer's had and yet he can't he can't put a penalty away uh, it's it's like a terrible penalty palmer should have a brace by now um, and, and, you know, the, the one-on-one -on -one chance more so than the penalty is just outrageous. I, I can guarantee you in that position, I would have put that away. I think a lot of, a lot of us would have put that, I, I, it's just, and, it, and you know what, it makes it even worse is that there is no pressure on him in that situation. Like it's not like he's been in such bigger situations in his life. He, you know, he's been in such higher intensity, higher pressured moments in his life. One on one with a Leicester goalkeeper, for fuck's sake. Like, come on. At least get it on target, let alone put it wide. Jesus. Why didn't Palmer take it? Because uh, Sterling obviously thought he needed it to. Uh, to. Um, get his confidence up, but it's ended up being even worse now, isn't it? Ended up it being much, much worse. Um, so, I don't know. 
it's a strange situation. It really is. Hello, Dan, mate. Hello. Not a bad half. Not a great half, but not a terrible half by any stretch of the imagination. It's 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 been, you know, 2-0. It's not anything to to complain about, to say the least. Um I think some half-time substitutions are needed. I I think now at this point, I don't see us taking Sterling off because he's got that assist. He's he's had a bit of a shit half to say the least. I just don't see us taking him off because it might it might lower his confidence even more. And it's like, ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> but I bring Madueke on. I'm begging you, please. He's not much better these days. But yeah, this this does, as I like you saying, hello, mate, by the way, um, this does need to be 4 5 nil. I think, just by Leicester just aren't playing well at all. Um, we've, we've, If anything, we've given them chances to get back into the game once or twice. Uh, Gallagher towards the end of the first half doing a back heel on the edge of the D nearly nearly putting us in a bit of spot of bother there and it's um, you know we are the we are the orchestrators of our own downfall at times but on this occasion Leicester have not been able to counter or or, 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 or you know make the most of the chances that we've been giving them does that mean we're cut you know with with through and dry and cut and dry you know it, it, no um Again, Sanchez is having a stinker. I don't think we're going to take him off at all um, because goalkeepers don't tend to come off. Um, I think Mudrick's having an all right game. Palmer wanted to take the penalty, by the way. Palmer wanted to take the penalty and he threw the ball at, Sa at Sterling, by the way. He did like a little, fine, you take, take the fucking ball. There you go. Jesus Christ. And then for Sterling to miss it is even worse, by the way. It's such a bad penalty. <laughs> it's so bad. It is such a bad penalty. Dan's on the old booze, is he? It's bad because I've got school in the morning and I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, Dan. Dan's going to have a fucking headache tomorrow. Oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Floyd, Assel Bank. Good to see him always. Down the man. Sanchez is not good enough for this club, and that's saying a lot, given we have been in the trenches, says Sean. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not just not keen on Sanchez being in goal. It's, it's always quite, uh, it's always so nervy whenever he is in goal. Do you know what I mean? Well, you, you definitely do know what I mean. What is that? Uh, Sterling has to come off. It's not funny anymore, says Chelsea FC. I'm just looking at his chance now. It is, without a shadow of a doubt, a perfect opportunity. It doesn't get much better. There's no one on his back. There's no one breathing down his neck. There's no bobble. He's one-on-one. -on -one. The angle is perfect. He's an experienced player who has won it all. I don't understand how he misses that. If he was wearing a lighter shade of blue, that's going top bins every fucking day of the week. But because he's wearing a more, more, uh, you know, a darker shade of blue, he turns to actual feces. I, I, and I don't understand. I do not understand. And then out of nowhere, he steals the ball. And it's a brilliant run and a brilliant assist. I, I just, it's so confusing. It is such a, such a confusing situation that, if anything, that, that's the hardest thing that he's had to do all day, Sterling. <coughs> the header to get the ball going, to, to, to dispossess, Mudrik with the header, Sterling to then run, jump, head the ball in the right direction, bring it down, run, Cut inside and make the cross inch perfect. It's the hardest thing he'll do all game. 
Yet the two really simple things of putting it in the back of the net in two really simple situations. It is so bizarre. Sterling is a really, really bizarre player to watch. They're, they're focusing on Sanchez now. The look, that, the look that Sterling gave Palmer during the celebration. Let me see. <laughs> I feel like they do not like each other. It's more, it was like a finally got there in the end there, Raheem. I don't know what you're doing, but we, you, you managed to get the assist off. Otherwise, you're playing a bit shit. Um, but yeah, overall, I reckon I'm like a. I'd give the half like a six out of ten. Honestly, I, I'm still not like stuff. It's a right home about. We need to give Sterling. St uh, Sterling a chance, do we? Give him, give him time. We always have to give people time, it seems. Um, Saturn Orange, what a name. Um, he should have the Jackson assist shot well wide and stopped Mudrick from scoring. Worst penalty in a while. I, I, I can't really thank you by the way really do appreciate the uh, the super chat if you want to guarantee your comment is read aloud like saturn orange has just had uh, then please do use the super chat feature um yeah i can you think of a worse penalty for chelsea lately it's not really something that we concern ourselves over because we've got cold 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 palmer these days who just doesn't seem to miss um Worst penalty since Kepper, yeah. <laughs> and that's saying something. The fact that the la the wor the last worst goal uh, penalty that we've seen was uh, our, our goalkeeper. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Imagine being called a nugget. Nugget. Palmer is currently the greatest player 21 and under in the world. I will die on this hill. How old is Bellingham? Bellingham is 20 years old, so I'm not sure. Since when could you like Super Chats? I don't know. It's like a new feature now. You guys can like the Super Chat, and I can like the Super Chat as well. I still don't know. To this day, I don't know what Kepper or Rizabalaga was doing with that, with that penalty. Beyond, beyond confusing. Beyond confusing. Um, if you could, please, smash the like button. That would be a massive help. Um, try and get to 150 before the second half commences. That would be unbelievable. Um, I will also put a link in the comments down below. If you just give me one second. Uh, the pinned comment in the chat is a link to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chelsea fans XI. It's a direct link. So if you click it, it should just give you the uh, subscribe button. You just have to click yes. Uh, I will be doing a live review um, of the game following the full time whistle. Um, and then I've got, uh, stuff I need to do. And hopefully I can talk a little bit more about that, um, a little later this week on my channel. 
Um, got a good a good little collaboration going. Um, but I'll be doing that after the game. <sighs> Second half is uh, shortly upon us. Just got a couple of uh, couple of minutes to go, and uh, we should be good to go. Um, Justin, how's it going? You beat me to it. You beat me to it. Gusto is better than Reese and Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, uh, Sean, you're on one today, mate. You're on one. Uh... Yeah. Sagar, I, I appreciate what you're saying. Um, but at the same time, I, a third of, well, I say a third, like I do have. Um, ownership of this channel as well so it's as much my channel as it is alex's at the end of the day so um i'm fairly sure i'll be carrying on here next season but i will also be streaming it on my channel as well doing like a double stream so if you want to watch it on my channel you can but it will be the same thing on both both channels um the uh, the streams next season will be on this channel and also on my channel um, as well as like TikTok and a, and a few other places as well to uh, to really get it out there, you know. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Angeline, seven months, Jesus. Uh, big up, Harry. Love you. Also, F sell selfish, stinky Sterling. Got some alliteration going there, uh, but thank you very much, Angeline. Um, he will not be making it into my uh, career mode next week for the 8K special. We are we are on a snail's pace getting to 8K, I'll tell you that much. But then I haven't really posted in a long time now. So it's been about two weeks since I've posted a video. Eight hours of pro clubs. God, I'd rather kill myself, honestly. Let alone an hour. Right, it is time. I might have to get a glass. Ugh. Probably not. Vice City. We've got to play Lance. We've got, we've got to give Lance a visit. Oh, that's good. It's been a while. Brewdog cussed me out on Twitter, so uh, we'll see the next time I drink some some Brewdogs on here. Don't think I'll be drinking. I've said this a few times now, but I've uh, I've got the gym sorted now. Oh. I've got the gym sorted now at home, so um, I'll be uh, banging and clanging, as they say. Sterling gives the ball away to Gallagher to kick off instead. Second half has commenced. Here we go. Extra time and penalties is a possibility. Um... But again, we've got some big things coming this year, you know, soon on the byline. Um, we have some new people. I don't know how much I can say. I'm not going to say too much and I'm not going to name names, but we've got some new people coming onto the channel to do uh, a, a new um, segment, I guess, like a, a weekly. I don't know how, how often it will be, but it will be a regular thing. And then Alex will be returning as well in his own capacity. So 
There is a lot to expect next season, as well as obviously the byline watch alongs will be coming back. Um, I do plan on doing them for the Euros, but I don't know the consistency of that. I would imagine I'm going to try and do it as often as possible. It's more so, ironically, it's the England games that will be the ones that aren't too consistent because I, I will want to watch them with family and friends. So there will be England games um, here and there. Um, but no, in terms of the watch alongs next season, it, it, it is just going to be me on my own. Um, I've spoke to Alex and I expressed my concerns. We came to an agreement that the, the watch along is mine now. Um, Alex will be making appearances from time to time, but more so for like big games, I think, because, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, I did enjoy the Liverpool final, um, not being alone for the final. So I've, I've not got any problem with that. I'm thinking more so from like a viewer standpoint. Crossed in, great chance for Leicester. Um, but as I said, the watch alongs will be solo for the most part. Mudrick with a brilliant run here. What can he do with it? Finds Jackson down the left-hand side. He continues his run. Sterling is available in the middle. He finds Palmer instead. What can he do here? He's kind of run into a bit of a wall. Caicedo, Gallagher, finds Kukurea. Mudrick is in support. He finds Gallagher, Mudrick, Gallagher again. I can smell lamb. Free kick given. Um, podcast with a panel. What's that in? What's that referring to? Jackson Downs, save this guy, bring in Washington. I thought, I thought for a second there you were saying that he wasn't good. Bad pass there. I think one more goal and it's a done deal. Um, John Terry, Jody Morris in the stands. Yeah, I mean, you could be right for both, really. <laughs> but again, I don't know how much I can say. It's all kind of got a bit quiet at the moment, but I'm not sure when everything's supposed to be getting launched. Um, kind of. I don't know if it, if that, if you know, if we were to do that. So I don't think it would be live. Oh, Sterling. He's got away with that one. Gusto should have a shot here. He hasn't. It's an overhit pass again. Cole Palmer with the cross. Um, but yeah, I, I would say, yes, you're right. It's going to be something similar to that. But with people that haven't really ever made appearances on camera, I don't think. but very popular people all the same. Big names, big names. Um, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> I didn't make the cut. <laughs> Although I will be the producer, so. Gusto crosses it in, great chance. Please do keep smashing the like button. We're trying to get to 200, if possible. Hopefully looking to grow the, uh, the watch along significantly next year as well. I want, it, I want the numbers way higher next season. Oh, and it's in. Leicester have scored. We were watching a replay. We were watching a replay, and it's gone in the back of the net. That's not the first time this has happened this season as well. It's 2-1. Is it DeSassi? I'm assuming DeSassi's made an error there. Sanchez. 
Can we see the replay? Gusto throws it back. Disassi. Oh my fucking God. Jackson into the side netting. I, 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 I'm not really... I'm not really sure what's happened there. He was nudged when he made the pass. I don't know if that was... So you could put the blame. It is one of the, I think, probably one of the worst own goals. You'll see. And Sanchez is giving him a little kiss on the cheek. What was that about? That's almost like a thank you where he's like, They've discussed at half time. If you score a howler of an own goal that isn't even remotely my fault, that takes the heat off of me for being shite in goal. And he's like, oh, oh thank you, DeSassi. Thank you, Axel. You've taken the, 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 the fucking microscope off of me. Oh, my God. We're having an absolute howler. We're how of like we've just uh... chance again. Good save by Sanchez. Game's wide open. Yeah, Sterling. Oh, got away with it. Gusto's in space. Another overhit pass for Cole Palmer. Dan, mate, don't even. Caicedo! It's a great shot. It's a really good chance there. It's a great save by the keeper. Low driven shot from Caicedo, saved by the goalkeeper. Gallagher might as well just not wear socks at this point. The whole cut in the, cut in the holes in the socks thing is such a myth, by the way. I couldn't think of any worse feeling. Could you imagine playing Sunday league football with holes in your socks like that? How uncomfortable that must be. The breeze on the back of your calf muscles must be horrible. I know. Oh, he has raked his eyes there, just a little bit. I thought it might have been a bit of an over-exaggeration there from Malagusto, but it does seem as though he has a bit of a claim there. He's certainly got a bit of a claim. You just couldn't do that in Sunday League with your socks. You would get absolutely bantered, like bantered beyond belief. I used to do the thing where you tape your ankles. Uh, with the white socks and the, and the you know you'd cut the socks and then you'd have the the socks your your normal white socks and then tape that and I used to get bantered so much but I had to stick with it <laughs> I had to had to as a point I had to stick with it to be like I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not going back to normal. So I just had to firm it. Gusto. Jackson. No, it's Caicedo. Jackson looks to close down. Mudrick, poor first touch.
Sterling refusing to chase the man down. Great chance here for Leicester. And a great chance all the way through. And Sanchez does collect. Counter-attack could be on. Cole Palmer under a bit of pressure. Gets the pass off. Jackson, probably the man you want to have on the ball in this situation. Gusto is available. And it's a terrible pass from Nico Jackson. Kills the move completely. It's back and forth. It really is. Brilliant tackle by Malo Gusto. Lovely pass. First time from Caicedo to Palmer to Caicedo to Palmer again. Caicedo picking up at a bit of a knock there. He's back up on his feet, though. Harry Winks dispossesses. Leicester have a goal in them for sure, by the way. I can feel it. Can feel it in me balls. The bag is tingling. It's well and truly tingling. Leicester piling the pressure on here. We got our backs against the wall. Extra time and penalties is still definitely on the cards. I think if Leicester can take it to extra time at least, then they, they've fucking hell... I mean, all things considered, their only goal has obviously been a, a, just a mental own goal, but they've had chances. They have had chances, to say the least. By no means are they out of this game completely. And the FA Cup, it, it likes to throw up all sorts of scenarios. Sanchez put under a lot of pressure there. It's got to be a free kick, surely. My God, I've missed beer, you know. As in, Brewdog, Brewdog is nice. I forgot how good a San Miguel can be. My one true love. <laughs> when it comes to beers. I think I've gone so long without it. I, I, now I've had a sip of the, the, the sweet nectar that it is. Could be back on the cards. I get your agendas are on Sterling today, but if anyone does, does something silly, they're getting mudded. Hydra, are you a, are you a Sterling stan, are you? I think with Disassi, it is just a complete freak accident. But like, in that scenario, why are you not just putting out for throw in? Why are you just? Why are you not just like tap it out, run back as quick as possible to make up for the ground? Caicedo fouled there. Looked like he landed on the ball. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh! That is a high boot. That is really high. I think that's the first time I've seen a football player cough on camera, by the way. Whoa! There's a Leicester fan on the pitch. He's dropped his phone as well. Willy Caballero as well, giving some tactics. I think that's the first time that a, a TV channel has uh, shown someone running on the pitch. They're usually really quick.
Dealt with very quickly, though. Mudrik looks to deal with this quickly as well. Oh, it's a great chance. He went for the right pass. He definitely went for the right pass. He's won the corner ball. Sterling. Oh. Good chance here. Daka completely bottling that. <laughs> what was that? He had a good run going there and he just bottled it completely and passed it all the way back. Here we go. Leicester with another chance. He's cut inside. Sharp chance goal in. Sanchez left fucking scrambling. He is absolutely useless. But all things considered, that is an absolutely fantastic finish. 2-2. We are absolute fucking clowns. I don't want to see Sanchez in goal ever again. I don't want to see him in goal. In it. And, and I, I just want to preface once again, it's such a good finish. It is such a good finish. But it shouldn't be going in. It's 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh. It's a great goal. It's a great goal, man. There is every squirt of mustard on that fucking shot. Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't, I don't really think you can blame Sanchez for that. It's, it's a really good fucking goal. Where's your super Superman punch there, you fucking idiot? Oh man. Just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Jackson, shit pass. What is that? Do you ever look at the... And I, and I know this is like a... Yes, we have to look at them all the time. <laughs> but do you ever look at some of the passes that these, these professional footballers make and think, how? How are you professional? How are you playing at the very, very top level? Sterling, Palmer, chance, and it's over the bar. It's a great chance. Really, really is. Is it deflected? Did look deflected. How much of an idiot must that pitch invader feel now, by the way? Obviously thought that like there's not really much of a chance. And now he's going to miss the rest of the game. What an idiot. Extra time looking much, much, much more of a possibility here, unless Chelsea can come up with something. Jackson picks up the pieces after Sterling was fouled. Sterling! Mudrick! Over the bar.
It's no longer bad for my health. It really isn't. My heart rate is at 79 beats per minute at the moment. So it's a little raised, but it is also nothing outrageous. I thought it'd be a lot higher, to be honest with you. Gusto, great turn. Pull on the shirt. That's a yellow card, ref. Get it out! Get it out! Mavidi. If we lose here today, Poch has to go. I, I By the end of the day, it's an early kickoff. Let's not forget. Uh, I strongly believe he has to be sacked. If, if we get knocked out in this game, he has to go. Like, now. Because the, the season's over then. The season's over. If we lose this, our season's over. What, what else have we really got to do? Oh, uh, the same question every time, though, Sean, mate. Not, not just from you, but, like, in general. Like, who? Who? Who do we who do we replace him with? And it's like obviously Frank Lampard. <laughs> it's Frankie time, baby. We want the we want the Frank Lampard three P. Bring him back. Bring him back. He's got unfinished business. Yeah, there's got to be a reason why Terry and, and Jody Morris are both sat in the stands today. Besides the fact that they both do come to the games quite often, but. He's Sterling. Jose will never come back, I don't think. I think he got he got uh, caught by a Chelsea fan the other day in Saudi Arabia. I think for the for the Joshua fight. And he said uh, uh, the club is so different now and it kind of made me think like he doesn't reckon it's not the same club as when he was here last or the first time. Do you know what I mean? Like it's no longer Abramovich. It's the Chelsea is such a different side now. This is not the Chelsea of old in in the slightest. And I'm not just talking like on the pitch either. The vibe of Chelsea Football Club, like the feeling, the the like everything about Chelsea is so different. And I think that's why I'm a bit like obviously not even remotely. <coughs> um it's not it's not a case of I'm not going to support the club like it's I'm still trying to what's the word it's like a divorce has happened do you know what I mean it's a divorce has happened the dad has left the 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 fun the foundations of this family have has gone and we're left with a very incapable mother <laughs> who doesn't really know how to discipline their kids. The discipline is gone. And, and Lester are in here. The discipline's gone for now. We need that father figure back. And for me, Jose is that father figure for now anyway. Like it's a very temporary thing. It's a great turn! Burn camp best from Jackson Putin! It's going to be a penalty! It is! Oh my word, what a turn by Nicholas Jackson! Unbelievable! Oh, it's glorious from Nicholas Jackson! Is it a penalty? It's, it's actually on the edge of the box. It's definitely a free kick. That's not a penalty.
Is there VAR? There is VAR. There is VAR. It's going to be a free kick. Fuck. Should be a red. How is that not a red card? And the the issue is as well. Jonathan Pierce has just said that there is an. There's, no, sorry, the 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 co-commentator is saying there's a clear attempt to play the ball. No, there's fucking not. No. It's not a penalty, but it's not. It, it, it's a red card. It's a fucking red card. A red card. A red card is going to cut. Like they've just said, a red card is being given. It's a red card. Off he goes. Off your pop, son. See you later. <laughs> it's not a penalty. It's a free kick. Do you like my little red card? Uh, here, where is it? Here it is. Woo! <laughs> na 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 na. Wee! Fuck off. Oh, uh, there's something about Willy Caballero, man. I miss him. I miss him dearly. This Caballero was just the guy, man. If Sterling scores now, I swear to God, I'm done with this club. Oh. It's just... It's just typical, isn't it? If he scores here, it's so typical. 15 minutes to go, more or less, of regular time. It's Cole Palmer. It's Sterling with a very long run-up, by the way. Their red card graphics awful on BBC. It's like a little sm like a little mark. My red card's better. Of course it is. Look at it. It's so plump. Come on, Raza. It's Palmer or Sterling. Sterling's run-up is so mammoth. Look at this. How far away he is. It's got to be Palmer, surely. No, no, no. No, no, no. Palmer's going to run over it and um, back it. Oh, maybe not. Sterling! <laughs> He's got it. It's good. It's good. Whoa! How many how many points is that? Fuck it, ill. You're not playing rugby, son. Jesus. Fuck me, that was so pony. Just so shit, isn't he? Fuck it, Al. Oh. Uh, please do continue to smash that like button. <coughs> smash, smash that like button just like Sterling smashed that ball into absolute oblivion. Um, and we might still get to 200 likes yet. That's the goal. The, minim the minimum goal. If we could get there, I'd be a very happy boy. £375,000 a week for that sort of a performance, yeah. It's outrageous, isn't it?
Outrageous. Gusto comes to collect in our corner flag. Caicedo, where are you going, son? What are you doing? What is Kukurea doing there? He had so many t like opportunities to touch the ball. Stoppage time before extra time or no? What? Of course there'll be stoppage time. <laughs> Doosbury Hall, can I please have your shirt? That was a fully grown woman with a, with a sign begging for his shirt. Honest to God, what has happened to this game? It's Connor Cody coming on, as is Carney Chukameka. Is that in Diddy? Oh, please, can I have your shirt? Oh, please. I made a sign for you and everything. I even put little hearts next to your name. I'm such a big fan. Grow up. Fucking hell. It's got to be one of the worst things in, in the modern game, that, that sign thing. And you know as well with the kids that do it, their parents have put them up to it. The parents put them up to it. Like, it's so... Chelsea fans singing, you don't know what you're doing and you're fucking shit after taking Mudrick off. Why would you take him off? Why does he like continuously take him off? It's so weird. Sterling remains on the pitch somehow. How? How? Tell me how. It, it, it is beyond me at this point. It really is. It's quite telling, by the way, if you really deep it, it's, it's quite telling um, that how bad a job Pochettino has done that there are, there are a, considerable, uh, like a, a considerably large amount of Chelsea fans that will, if we lose this, the hope is that Pochettino has gone. But at the same time, as Leicester have a chance here, at the same time, we know, we know we could lose this. We could lose this and Pochettino's job will, will not be like put to an end. Here's Chukameka, plays through. Palmer! Oh, it's a great chance. But it's quite telling that there are a, a considerable amount of Chelsea fans that will want us to lose. Not want. I don't know if the word want is the right word, but it's like they are open to us losing this if it means Pochettino is sacked. But the issue is he won't be sacked. It, it won't happen. It will not happen. He'll be gone by the end of the year if it, if it continues to be this bad. But Palmer with a shot. Chukameka, have a shot, son. Why not? Why not? Great tackle. Palmer, it's an absolute mess.
Yeah, Sean, I agree, mate. Yeah, Chukameka's playing well since he's come on. Really getting involved. Uh, 356 of you in the stream at the moment. Please do smash the like button. We can get to 200 now. Sooner rather than later. Just get it out of the way and get it over and done with. Headed back to the keeper. Eight and a half minutes to go. Eight and a half minutes to go. And it is 2-2, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it is 2-2. Can you believe it? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. <sighs> How much stoppage time do you think we'll get? Five minutes? I think five. Five or six. I think five. It's the size of my head. Not quite, but this is mostly beard. So look, it is mostly. Size of my head. Is it extra time then pens? Or just pens. It's extra time and penalties. Sterling, Chukameka. If he can get the winner, that would be fantastic. But he puts it over the bar and wide. He's looking good though, Carney. He's looking, uh, he's looking tickety boo. He's looking tip top magoo. Carney Chukameka. Always, always good to see him back playing. Uh, not the best of finishes, but again. The guy has quality, so it's it's acceptable when he when he has a, and he hasn't played regularly because he's been injured, so it's it's okay. Sterling does something like that, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Whereas Chukameka, like uh, Bullies just said, he needs a run of games. He needs to find his feet. He needs to find his form, and in time, it will be it will come together. It will really come together. He he is one for the future with Chelsea for sure. I think. If he can stay fit. If he can stay fit, which annoyingly is the case for most of our best players, if they can stay fit, they'll be really good. But Gallagher with a weird tackle. Still no yellow card for Caicedo. It's got to be said. Um, five likes away from 200. Just five likes away. We'll do, we'll do a potcher clock. We'll wake some of you up. I'm sure it's late where some of you are. Although it was an early kickoff today, so I feel like it should be quite... Cole Palmer takes it down. And again, it's a great chance. If you think you live in the place in the world that it is the latest right now, so let me know what time it is where you live. If it's late, not if it's like half past two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm saying if it's late, because I'm curious. I, I think like Angeline, yours is probably like what? 11 o'clock? Half one. Where do you live? Where it's half one in the morning. Two, uh, 10 30 in china it's 10 30 for angeline so how the fuck could it possibly be 1 29 a.m sean where do you live new zealand's a good shout to be fair time in new zealand Is it Wellington? 3.30, yeah. Jesus. Sounds like Australia. Listen to the booze. <laughs> and then Madaweka comes on. They're like, yes! <laughs> Someone good for a change. Get him off. I, uh, yeah, I doubt there were that many boos, to be fair. 
you, yeah, there. I mean, I think it's more so to keep his spirits up, but at the same time, there's not a single match going fan that is actually like thinking, I'll bless him, I'll bless Sterling, I'll bless him. He's trying his hardest, he just can't quite get it together when he's on nearly 400 bags a fucking week. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not. It's hard to feel sorry for someone who's earning over a quarter of a million pounds every single week and putting shit performance in week in, week out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard, it's hard to feel sorry for someone like that. If you're earning that much, there's a reason. You're, you're evidently, you should be, you're, or you were deemed like a player that is good enough to be earning that much money. And when you don't put in the performances regularly, you're going to get some flack for it. It's Potch o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. 200 likes on the stream. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Hey, yeah. It's Potch o'clock. <laughs> it's Potch o'clock. <laughs> My throat went a little bit there. Jesus Christ. I'm, st I'm, still, I'm still getting back to normal. I've got no sore throat now, though, that said. And that was the main problem before. Um, eight minutes of stoppage time. How have you heard that? It's still two and a half minutes to go yet. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Aston Villa are bottling their top four uh, position, by the way, beyond belief. Beyond belief. You like the trim, do you? It's a decent little fade, you know? It's a bit aggressive, going from bald to like a three, but, you know. Palmer, Gallagher, go on, sunny tits. Gusto crossed in. Great chance! Oh, it's a great save! Oh! Noni Madoeke with an absolute brilliant chance to win it there. Oh, my word. You know what? You've got to be putting that away. I feel like you've got to be putting that away. It's a great save. Madueke with the cross in. Back post, Chowdhury heads it away. Only as far as Kukurea, one afro to another. Jackson crosses it in. It comes out to Chukameka, Caicedo, Madueke. So many dreads. It's hard to keep count. Gusto crossed in. Jackson! He's put it over the fucking bar. I can't believe it. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I just punched myself in the nads. Oh, God, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh. It is eight minutes. Whoever guessed eight minutes, by the way. I don't get why he's taken Kukurea off. Personally, one of our better players today. 
Chilwell against his former side. Don't know, maybe. You know if it's going to penalties, Chilwell's missing his, man. It's so fucking obvious. I've read the script. It happens time and time again. It's not going to need to, though, because it's took a back of the, and it's in the back of the fucking day. What a goal! What a goal! Unbelievable! It is a fantastic goal, and of course... I spat everywhere then, but I fucking couldn't give a bollocks. Spit on my nuts for all I care. <laughs> yes! Oh, it's fucking glorious! The beard's in shambles. <laughs> Oh, man. What a goal. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. Baddy Shield really going for it with the celebration there as well. And now, I reckon it's going to end like 4-2 now. It's a shit pass. Some of this, I know how he can do, like the, de de what's the word? The deftest? The deftest, de the de <laughs> what's the word? The deftest, deftest? The deftest? <laughs> The, the lightest of touches for that flick back so that Chukameka could put it in the back of the net. But then absolutely, I, I think I was having a stroke there. But then to absolutely hoof it just then, I don't understand how someone could do such a good pass to, to, to get the goal and then playing it down the wing, you just overhit it so much. <laughs> The deftest of touches. The deftest. Deftest of touches. The deftest of touch. Madueke. Cole Palmer. The play is on. He's so open. It's a great ball to find Chilwell. Got to stretch his legs a little bit. Intricate, yeah. Lovey one again. It's Connie Chukameka again. Palmer. <coughs> Wembley awaits us if it stays like this. Three minutes to go. Malo Gusto gets man of the match. I'm not sure how Gusto got man of the match there, to be honest with you, but I'm not upset, but I am surprised.
the deftest deaf test. <laughs> Chill out. Corner ball. And it seems as though it's all going to come down to the uh, United-Liverpool game to find out who we are going to be facing in the semi-final. It's either going to be Manchester City, Liverpool or Manchester United, Coventry. And that's it, really. The, the issue is as well, is that we, when we score, a lot of the times they're such good goals. Like, we don't really score shit goals anymore. They're all really good goals. Oh, my word. Madueke! Ah! <laughs> what a goal! Oh, my word! Just as I was saying, we don't score shit goals! Noddy Madueke proves me right. An absolute top draw finish. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable from Noni Madoeke. What a goal. Sorts his feet out, in through one, pass two, dips it over the keeper. Does a, no keeper saving that. What a finish. Chelsea 4, Leicester 2. And we're through to the semi-finals, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What a day. We made it hard for ourselves, but that's what Chelsea does best. But we're through to the semi-finals nonetheless. What a goal. And there is the full-time whistle. Chelsea through to the semi-final. We will face either Coventry, Manchester City, or one of either Manchester United or Liverpool. The draw comes after that. It's 4-2 at the end of the game. What a game it's been. It's had a bit of everything. Goals galore um, and, and really good goals. We had an unbelievable own goal as well. But <laughs> De Sassi looks really, really distraught. Um, but... You know, it is what it is. Semi-finals inbound. Please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you're notified of any future content on the channel. The link to my description, the link, the link to my channel is in the pinned comment in the chat and in the description, youtube.com slash Chelsea fans excited. I'll be live in about 10 minutes time to do a live review uh, of this game. So join me there. Um, and then, of course, it is going to be Liverpool versus Manchester United or Manchester United versus Liverpool, um, where we find out who we're going to be facing um, when the draw happens after the game. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, really do appreciate it. It is... Punch o'clock, mate. Right there. It's punch o'clock. <laughs> I'm so out of practice. I really am. But thank you for watching all the same. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.